Hi there, my name is Dr. Wayne Tompkins and I have kind of a unique, unique experience with AlphaGal. I have helped a number of patients who have AlphaGal who are now able to eat um, mammalian products, beef, um, have butter, have cheese, have milk and that type of thing without, without an issue, without the rash they previously had and so forth. But interestingly, I actually myself uh, developed, I discovered I had AlphaGal earlier this past year and um, wondered why I was having all the digestive disruptions, uh, itchiness, and did a, did a blood test and found out, Eureka, there it is. So um, I've had some good results. I, I actually went to another practitioner and he kindly did some work with me. Didn't actually totally do the trick. Um, I used some herbs, an herbal protocol that worked really well. Um, and then it seems like I got another tick bite and a rebound effect this summer. And so I've had some more issues as far as symptoms. So I'm just sharing this with you to let you know that my own experience is that it hasn't just gone away completely and I'm working with it again. I'm using some NAET work, allergy elimination work, and I'm using an herbal protocol and I'm really trying for the most part to avoid to the best of my ability, all mammalian products. So um, one challenge that I have that a lot of people don't have is that I had an underlying Lyme uh, situation, Lyme disease. Um, so ticks are really not my friend. I don't like ticks very much. But I want you to know that there is hope and help for it. Like we've seen really wonderful success at our office with it. Um, we have testimonials from patients that had AlphaGal and they're so much better. Um, it doesn't have to rule your life for years or even maybe months. It can, it can be taken care of. It does have a lot to do. I have one patient who is really stubborn and I'm not, I haven't made as quick a success with her as I wanted. But when I look at her IgE level, the immunoglobulin E, which is the marker for alpha-gal, um, it is super high. So when it's that high, it's going to take longer to fix. So she's definitely made progress. Her her upper digestion is all but healed. Now we're working a little bit with small intestine and large intestine to fix those as well as what we've already worked on, stomach, um, enzymes, gallbladder, liver. So I just want you to know that there is hope and help for it. I'm not gonna tell you that I fix every case like I'm hitting it out of the park, but I do want you to know that I've had experience with it. And in one of our past president's words, I feel your pain. And I want you to know that, and it's not an easy thing to deal with, but there is help and hope for it. And 